should you create a YouTube channel? That's a big question and I'm gonna answer it in this video, so stick around. Hey, what's cooking guys? This is Marcel from Slamming It Out. Thanks for watching this video and thanks again for tuning in. I have received a very good question from, from one of my viewers the other day and she asked me whether or not she should start a YouTube channel. And this is an excellent question. As you know, I have a YouTube channel. I actually have two YouTube channels. I started a few years ago and my answer is a definite big fat yes. You should in any case start a YouTube channel. Uh, first of all because you you have to try you have to try it out uh, you, of course you don't know whether or not you like it but you should start it in any way because it's a great medium we can of course debate and argue about the politics of youtube these days you know there's a lot of censorship going on this is a fact and i'm not agreeing with that but nevertheless if you only look at the medium of video and how many people you can reach today and also as a way of expressing your your views your opinions and any other kind of stuff which people are doing on on camera so this is a great way to market yourself to market your business to express your views your feelings to have great discussions uh, so video is an excellent medium which many uh, most of the people actually still do not use in these times of course, when you uh, go on to YouTube or any other platforms, video platforms, then there are, there are millions of videos uh, posted. I don't have the exact number in my mind, but I don't know how many hours of videos are posted every hour onto YouTube. So there are plenty of material. That's true. But when you compare the actual content creators with uh, the entire population globally you will find out very quickly that it's just a tiny minority actually who are content creators as uh, i am or other people you can make the test you can ask in your circle of friends you know your best buddies your best friends you pick i don't know five or ten of them and then you ask them who of you or who of them has a youtube channel or as a content creator and I would say from my estimation it's it's out of 10 friends I would say one or two max you know who are doing regular stuff on YouTube and uh, this is for different reasons because many people don't feel comfortable you know uh, to do that um, it also of course depends what kind of videos are you doing uh, I'm doing talking head videos this is what I want to do this is what I like to do because the content I'm sharing I prefer to do it uh, in a talking head video I also could do uh, presentations but that's a lot more work I'm not too shy to be in front of the camera because that's what I want and I know I have a lot of things to improve I'm getting better with every single video that's why I'm throwing out these videos also uh, not necessarily to um, gain a lot of subscribers. Yes, I also would like to receive more subscribers. That's that's just normal. And I want that many people watch my videos and that they like the videos. But believe it or not, this exercise, that's what it is. This is what I consider it. But this channel is just an exercise. I want to uh, train my public speaking skills and I want to be more comfortable in front of the camera. So that's my main purpose with this channel. Of course, I want to create good and interesting content. It's just an experimentation platform at the moment. And there will be significant changes in the near future when I launch my new business soon. And then this channel will be probably revamped or maybe I'm starting a new channel, but as as uh, as for the moment, I'm using it mostly as a as an uh, as a practice tool. Okay. There's so much to say about uh, running a YouTube channel. I'm not going into details here right now. I just wanted to uh, empower you and encourage you to do start a channel at least to figure out whether it suits you or not. You know. And to my friend also, I uh, I said do it. 
uh, try it out because if you uh, if you can run a YouTube channel, if you feel even uh, comfortable in speaking uh, in front of the camera, even better because you have yeah a greater advantage uh, over over many other people, as I believe. Because it's not only about YouTube. Um, uh, creating YouTube videos, but uh, imagine you are, um, you know, in, in the business world, uh, instead of working with emails so much, uh, you, you start to create videos for your clients, you know, and, and other stuff, uh, or even friends and family members. I know that from my own experience because I experimented with that, you know, um, sending a WhatsApp message is nice, Sending an, an email is also like everybody's used to sending emails already, but sending a personalized video, a video message, no need to be uh, long, just a, a, a short uh, video message has way much an impact on the people. And I hear it from many of my friends and people where when I send videos to them, personalized videos, you know, thank you message or hey, how are you, how are you doing and things like that, they appreciate it much more. So you have a much more pos positive impact on, on them. You see video is a great communication tool uh, because, yeah, you see the other person on the screen, you hear him or her talking, you hear not only the voice, you also see him. So this is a very, very effective tool. Uh, so that's besides of, you, uh, of, of YouTube, but you should definitely start a channel, play around a little bit. There is, there are so many different channels, as you know, as a regular YouTube watcher I, watcher. I don't need to tell you that. You know, there are so much content, so many different topics, so many different styles, so many different formats and there are I know people who are just shooting videos and load them up straight away without any editing and there are the other people who uh, really put a put in a great deal and effort to edit their videos they have really top-notch uh, equipment like lighting equipment camera equipment this is all this detailed stuff I'm not going into today of course, the, the sky is the limit when it comes to equipment. But uh, the most important thing is in the beginning is not to focus. If this would be one advice I would give you, do not focus too much on equipment first because all the equipment and all the wasted money at the end will not help you if you cannot get yourself in front of the camera and uh, be comfortable talking into this little, uh, no, not talking into, but watching into this little black dot there and basically talking against the wall because there is nobody uh, in front of you right so get comfortable with that and also number two get comfortable to create content because content is the most um, difficult it's one of the, the the challenging parts you know you you want to create content valuable content uh, content people like and i'm not saying i'm i'm, I'm not claiming that i i am the greatest content creator Con to create great content which people like is a great challenge, you know, and every video is different and you will want, you don't want to start a YouTube channel just to go viral or to create viral videos. That's also nonsense because from my experience, I had, I had a viral video on last year, not on this channel, on my travel channel. And uh, that was not my intention to, to get, to make this video viral. So these are, um, let's say, uh, uh, there are circumstances which are out of, completely out of your control but no don't focus too much on the equipment focus on yourself get your smartphone out that's plenty that's enough as smartphones today have uh, yeah they are very very uh, qualified to shoot videos you know I'm even shooting my Udemy classes and my Skillshare classes my online teaching classes I'm I'm offering for sale I'm shooting with with my smartphone. I have a professional camera. It, it's a Canon. Yeah, this is a camera which many many professional YouTubers use. And I also did a lot of research before I started, you know, shooting my online classes because I wanted to have a real professional camera. I bought this camera for like 600 US dollar. And guess what? Since the day I bought it, about two years ago, I never used it. So. That's the thing. So starting a YouTube channel is easy, it's simple, and it's for free. The only obstacle you have in starting a YouTube channel is probably your own fear or laziness or worry. 
and don't don't blame it on your equipment don't do that just uh, get the camera uh, started push the record button and then talk into the camera and see if you feel comfortable and uh, every beginning is hard you know we don't like to see ourselves uh, on camera you know it's a weird situation i know it's a weird feeling even for me sometimes but you know, to get more confidence, you need to practice a lot. So the more practice you get, the more confident you get. And then, trust me, it can even be a lot of fun. But you have to find your own way. Maybe you are really not into talking head videos. You know, maybe you are more into presentations. Maybe you're good with that. Maybe you are, I don't know, a graphic designer and want to show your graphic design skills by uh, creating great presentations. There are great YouTube videos out which have millions and millions of views, uh, which are just presentation videos or slideshow videos. So again, the sky is the limit. You have to find your own little niche. And the last advice I want to give you, if, of course, try it out and play around and maybe you will uh, start to go this road and you see uh, it's a dead end. You're going to start the next thing. But start small. What I mean with that is do not expect to become a, a YouTube millionaire or very famous on YouTube within six months or three months or do not think you can create or produce viral videos uh, uh, like crazy. That's uh, nonsense. Yeah, to become a great YouTuber with a, a great audience, that's a lot of work. I know what I'm talking about. You can look at my channel. How many subscribers do I have? Yeah, and I produce every week one video. So now we can debate what more needs to go into to improve my videos. That's that's what I'm saying. You know, there's YouTube is a vast field. There's so much to learn, but certainly there's also a lot of work to do. Trust me. Just hit to hit the record button, produce a video, and expect to be famous. Uh, and have a million followers and become a millionaire is completely nonsense. You know, YouTubing is a skill. Actually, it's a meta skill and many, many different skills like editing and public speaking and content creating and copywriting and, and everything goes into, into creating a YouTube video. And also you have to analyze your channel, your channel stats and everything. There's so much, trust me. I, I've been dealing with this for two years now and it's, it's it's tedious work, it's boring sometimes and sometimes also people give up because of that and I am one of them. You know, this is just like an, like a, like an experimentation platform for me at the moment. But of course, if I launch my business, business in the near future, YouTube will be one of my main marketing channels also and I need to invest much more time into building up this channel and creating great content. That's, that's a full-time job. That's what it is. YouTube is a full-time job. If you want to become a famous YouTube millionaire, let's put it like this, then you have to make it at least a full-time job. So third advice, do not underestimate what you're getting into, you know, and stop dreaming and uh, uh, of these uh, get rich quick uh, things in terms of YouTube. So get famous quick. It's all nonsense. Forget it. You know, forget about it. But if you don't believe me, try it out. Maybe, maybe you uh, create your first couple of videos and maybe you become very famous and you you hit a million subscribers and you become a millionaire within two weeks. So then let me know, please, in the comment sections and teach me. Uh, how you did it. Maybe I can learn a thing or two. No problem. I have an open mind as discussed also in my other videos, but I don't want to make this video too long. It's already 15 minutes. So yeah, here my advice. Should you start a YouTube, cha YouTube channel? Absolutely yes. So with that being said, I'm checking out for today. Thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope I could encourage you and you know, every beginning is hard and it might take even years until you build your channel up anyway yeah then uh, check out the description box for my other social media links there you can reach me also my online classes are there um, uh, or i'm on udemy and skillshare as mentioned before i'm uh, teaching certain topics uh, online these uh, courses are available for sale and yeah i'm gonna see you next week stay healthy stay safe and don't forget always keep slamming it out. And before I say bye-bye, please also come out and check my website, www.marc.
CELR.com. All right, until next week, bye bye.